Stage 3 of the 2021 Tour of Slovenia is a 167km long stage between Brešice and Kursko. This stage looks set for the sprinters who can pack a punch, as the Sremic climb with 20km to go will test out the sprinter's legs. Stage 3 of the 2021 Tour of Slovenia set off in glorious weather from the town of Brešice in the east of the country. Whilst the peloton welcomed the sunshine, a breakaway of seven riders escaped. These riders were Raul Garcia, Andrea Garozio, Jacob Scott, David Per, Jonas Wiedebeil, John Irisari and Jaime Castrillo. There were some spills for Dylan Hopkins of the Ljubljana team towards the rear of the peloton, but he remounted his bike and continued the stage. Back up the road, more riders joined the initial breakaway, including Honiton Restrepo and King of the Mountains challenger Kenny Molly. Nevertheless, Restrepo of Androni tried to make a move over the Stremich climb at 28k to go, but he was soon taken back in. Behind, Pogaccio and Maharic's team regulated the bunch, even though Bahrain sprinter Philip Bauhaus was dropping behind. Marcus Hergod of Uno X tried to pull off something special, but his charge would be futile. Tratnik tried to do the same and go solo into the final kilometer, but in the end, the sprint was on the cards. Pogaccio tried to lead out his teammate Matteo Trentin, but Caharal's John Aberasturi overhauled both Trentin and Mohoric. Aberasturi therefore took the win ahead of a frustrated Matej Mohoric to claim his first stage win of 2021. Caharal have also become the first team from the pro-continental level to claim a stage win at the 2021 Tour of Slovenia. Let's not forget as well that Tadej Pogaccio successfully defended his green jersey for another stage. As we know, John Aberasturi has won stage 3 of the 2021 Tour of Slovenia. He takes the win ahead of Matej Mohoric, Matteo Trentin, Jeppe Osko, James Shaw, Daniel Munoz, Giovanni Carboni, Dimitri Strakov, and Javier Romo. In terms of GC, Matej Mohoric has reduced his gap to Tadej Pogacar in GC with the use of some bonus seconds on the stage. Diego Ulissi remains in third place at 1 minute and 26, Matteo Sobrero in fourth at 1 minute and 33, whilst James Shaw of Ribble Weltide moves into top five at 1 minute and 36 back. The points jersey will now be worn by Matej Mohoric of Bahrain Victorious, the King of the Mountains jersey will now go to Kenny Molly, whilst the youth classification and team classification remain unchanged. Now let's look towards tomorrow's stage between Eidos China and Novogorica. This is considered by many people to be the queen stage of this year's Tour of Slovenia. The main obstacles on this day will be the final two climbs, the first of which Ravenitsa is 2.7 kilometers at 10.8%. After this climb, there's a little bit of respite before the final ascension to the line in Novogorica at 2 km in length and at a 13.5% average. This is a mightily difficult stage and will really test out the Tour of Slovenia favourites. Nevertheless, that's everything from Stage 3's highlights of the Tour of Slovenia. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Cycling Day YouTube channel for more highlights from this year's Tour of Slovenia. Anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching and we will see you around.